step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up Pinterest connection inside NA10. At the time of making this video, NA10 doesn't support any native Pinterest connection. So for this to work, we have to rely on using HTTP request. This does require you to read up the API documentation inside the Pinterest developer tool page, but you can follow along this video to get this whole thing set up. Right here, we have an image created by ChatGPT. Then we are converting that image to a binary file. And then we are uploading that file to Google Drive, which we will pull the file from the Google Drive and upload that to Pinterest. However, before we pull the file from our Google Drive folder, we need to enable the file to be accessed. Basically, we are changing the restriction level on the file. So anybody uh, internal, any internal team member can access the file. The next is our board creation. Inside the Pinterest board HTTP request, you can populate all of those important information simply by copying the curl command down in the description. Copy that, come here, click on import curl, and paste the command right inside here and hit import. That will populate everything. And the only thing you need to change is add in your own API token to access the Sandbox API. In order to generate the Sandbox API, you need to log in into your developer platform. And here, you will click on Connect App. In this case, we already have an app created. So let's hit Manage. Right here, what you want to generate is a token for the Sandbox. For this video, we are actually creating a production limited, which allows you to post Pinterest pins to your live account. All you have to do to get the production limited access token is to submit a video showing exactly uh, the intent of your app. What does it do? How does it work? Once you get that permission, you will be able to access the production limited API connection so that you can post pins to a live account. You want to just set this up without any technical hurdles. Uh, the, there's a tool called Tailwind that can automatically schedule your Pinterest pins. You can easily uh, create pins, edit them, schedule them, so you can automatically upload a bulk load of pins without having to worry about setting up a bunch of HTTP requests if that's not your thing. But if you're watching this video, you want to set this up, keep watching. But if you want to try something that's easier, uh, be sure to check out Tailwind in the description below. So let's go back to our create board HTTP request node inside NA10. Here in the body parameters, we are naming the board and we are adding the description for the board. The next node we're going to add creates the pin. So let's open up our HTTP request node. Inside here, all you have to do is copy the curl command in the description and paste that right in here. Simply click on import curl and paste everything in here. It will automatically populate all the important fields that you need in order to make this work. The only thing you need to change is your API access token. And another thing you need to add is your board ID, which is previously created using the create board HTTP request. When you run the create board HTTP request, it will generate this ID right here. And then the last thing you need to reference is the URL from the Google Drive, which we can reference that right here called web content link. Once you have enabled the access to the file, you can map that uh, web content link schema right here where it says URL. And when you test the step, it will create the pin that you can access. And there's our pin that's created. And this is exactly how you can set up Pinterest pins inside NA10 using this workflow. And you can download everything in the description below.